Hi guys! I got another haul here for you. Usually I don't do these type of hauls because I want you guys to be able to find and get what I find, right? I want to tell you all about it and let you go get it yourself. And these you can't really do that, but I wanted to do this one anyways because I thought this was awesome and remind you that um, check your local thrift stores, maybe your yard sales or um, your markets or whatnot, um, because you can find some really cool things there at some really good prices. Now, it's not always going to be good prices. Um, some thrift stores have things marked really high because they know the value or they think they know the value. <laughs> But, um, so let me show you what I found because it's so yummy. Um, first of all, look at this cute, darling little cash register. And hopefully my lighting will show you this really good. I'm kind of struggling with my lighting. So it's actually a, uh, pencil, um, sharpener. And it's super cute. I thought it was super cute. And then the drawer in the front comes out for the shavings which I thought were cute to, uh, you know, mimic the cash register drawers and everything. So I thought that was adorable. And so then I found this. So I found this for $2 at like um, some kind of off the side road rummage sale type thing. Um, I don't know what to call it, but that's where I found that. And I found this. Now my son took part of this apart, but that's basically what I'm going to do to it. So I thought, why should I throw this away? I'll just put it in the box with this thread. But I thought this was such a pretty like Christmas green. I was like, I'm going to put this on uh, my layouts and tuck it behind my photos and things. I see, I think it's Missy Wooden on YouTube do that all the time. And I've actually never done that. And I wanted to, it was just screaming, put me on your Christmas layout. And I got it for a quarter. So I was like, that's the best way to start and try and see if I like uh, thread on my layouts or not. For a quarter, right? And then I found these things. I was like, nummies. So let's start with the first one I found. I stopped at a churchyard sale. Um, normally I'm working and can't go to yard sales or rummage sales or whatever. So this was kind of fun. Um, I found this super large Webster's University College Dictionary. And it's not super old, but everything looks like it's been aged naturally. So I thought that was cool. Let's see if I can't find the year for you guys. See the difference? The front's white and then everything's kind of old, yellowed and everything. So, I know I found one somewhere in here. 1997. So, this isn't too old. This is copyright 1997. But still, the pages looked it. And it's dictionary pages, you guys. You know, we love that. And it's got, you know, little tiny photos of different things in it. So, I definitely could coffee dye this and make this more vintage -y or probably use some of my Tim Holtz um, inks and ink up the edges or whatnot. There's a little shell. So I thought this was a good buy. Um, I went up to the counter and I told the lady, I said, how much are your books? And she's like, well, hardbacks are a dollar and paperbacks are 50 cents. I was like, oh, score. So I brought this book up to her and she goes, wow, that's a big book. <laughs> I think she regretted telling me it was a dollar, but she didn't change her price. She stuck with the whole dollar. And she's like, are you, what are you, she says, if you read this, you're going to be the smartest person ever. I said, well, I don't really plan on reading it. I'm actually going to alter it. She goes, oh, are you going to cut a hole in it and put your valuables in it? I was like, uh, no. <laughs> I said, I'm probably going to rip the pages out. And uh, coffee dye them. And I said maybe burn some of the edges or tear them. I said ink them up and put them on layouts in a junk journal or put some photos on top of them. And she was just like, oh. <laughs> I 
I don't think she knew what to expect. I probably shouldn't have said all that. I should have just laughed and said, ha ha, yes, but I couldn't resist because I was so excited to get this for a dollar to alter because I'm not about spending a bunch of money to rip up and alter a book. I just, I can't do it. It's not in me, guys. Maybe one day I'll get to that point, but right now I'm not. <laughs> and then I found this at a thrift store. It says M MU's 75th anniversary. Not quite positive how to pronounce that, but it's on these rings and they're not actually rusted or anything, but look at the pages. Can you see that? Look at that. Isn't that so cool? So this is definitely old. Um, I'm going to show you the pages as I tell you the story about it. It's got like age spots on it and it says from 1888 to 1938. So this is old. <laughs> and I don't think it's been reprinted because if it had, I think it would have been put in like an actual book form. And then here it says dedication. And if you want to read that, you can pause the video. And I thought this was really cute at the front. It says recipes for happiness. And I just thought that was super cute. So this is a cookbook. It was a cookbook club. And they put all of their stuff in here. I just love this typed font. It is just, I really like it. And then they have like little images at the bottom. Not on all of them, I think, but on some of them. So pie crust. Some of these recipes probably be really good because they're so simple. It doesn't have a bunch of lot of added stuff into it. They probably would be really good. I can't make up my mind whether I might want to make some of these or alter them or what. It's just so old. I kind of just want to keep it. <laughs> but there's no reason just to keep something and store something and not do anything with it. So I'd rather alter it and make it into something more pretty than not do anything at all. And who knows? Maybe I'll make something off of here. If I make something off of here, maybe I'll share it with you guys. So there's a table of contents. I'm not going to show you every page, but I did want to kind of flip through. There's a Thanksgiving turkey. What is that? Greek chicken and macaron. It's got this, like, fairy girl on it. So... I did think it was super cute. So I went to ask the lady how much this was, and she goes, oh, this is really old. Because <laughs> she took it out of my hands and looked at it instead of just telling me how much the books were. So it was a little smarter than the last door. <laughs> and, oh, look, there's like a little girl. Oh, I missed it. And um, she's like, this is going to be $9. And I was... Like, oh, I can just not bring myself to pay $9 for something I might alter. There you go. There she is. Mommy. So cute. Hi, baby. So, um, I was like, I handed it to her. I said, oh, okay, I'm, I, I'm not going to get that then. I said, uh, not for $9. And so she started walking away, and I just thought, why don't I just ask her if she'll go lower? So I said, ma'am, I said, would you take five for that recipe book? Now, I didn't really want to pay five either, but I felt like, okay, it is old. It is worth it. So I asked her, and she's like, um, she goes, I'll meet you at six. And I'm thinking, that's not meeting me. That's six. That's six. <laughs> and I was thinking about it, and I hadn't really answered her, and I was thinking about saying yes, but I hadn't actually answered her. And some other gentleman in the store, he's like, ma'am, I'm going to give you a dollar, and she's going to give you five, and you're going to give her that recipe book. And I was like, oh, you don't have to do that, seriously. As my two-year-old is, like, flipping out of my arms and wanting to play with things. So I'm like, oh, my gosh, i got to get out of the store. I was like, no, sir, that's okay. I said, thank you very much, though. He goes, no, 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 no. He goes, I'm doing it. So we go out to the cash register, and I'm trying to get my wallet out. He's in front of me, handing the lady the book and to purchase it and everything. And uh, he pulls the money out the hand to her, and he goes, oh, look at that. I've handed her $6. He goes, look, the whole book is yours now. So then I felt really bad because he paid for the whole thing. But that was so cool. So this was free, and this was a dollar. <laughs> 
So, so far we've spent $250, $350, and that's it. And then I found some more items. So I found these at the same place I found the thread. And these were $2 a piece. I thought about asking them if they would do both of these for 3 bucks, but I was like, come on, Stephanie, 2 bucks. This is like an amazing brace. So this is really cool. So it says the Swiftwater Hotel was built in 1778. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is... I don't know how close to my light I can get this to show you. But these rings are rusted. Sorry, my notifications aren't off. Um, they're like totally like old. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, you guys. I guess I should turn those off now since it keeps happening. Okay, sorry about that. So I don't know. Let's see if we can figure out. I think it's from Pennsylvania. It says PA on the bottom. But look how cool this is. Table of contents. The mansion house. This is just super cool. This actually happens to be another recipe book. I've never actually altered recipe pages before. But these are just so cool. Also the noise you hear in the background. Oh the pages are coming out. It's my two year old playing so that's just happening fruit juice punch look at the handwriting and then they have like different handwriting like two different people people wow i can't talk just so cool right i just thought this was so cool here's a page that's out and on the back it says something else final sale that must have been in the front of the book but look <laughs> Look at the way this handwriting is. And then this is like completely different. So these are like handwritten um, handwritten recipes that they combined into one book. And some people drew some images. Then they're all like signed by the ladies that did the recipes, which is like so cool. This one looks cool. I won't make you sit through every one of these pages. But I do want to just show you some of them. They got some illustrations in here. Um, just so cool. Look at the little mushrooms. Cream of mushroom soup from scratch, guys. You think Campbell's, uh, this is where they got their recipe from? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I bet you it's just as good as Campbell's, if not better. It's just the different handwriting in here is just so cool. I'm trying to be careful as I turn these pages, not turn too many at once because I don't want it to fall out. But yeah, isn't that cool? And these are definitely like old. The whole rings are rusted and and everything. Cheese and eggs. I hope I got all this on camera on screen where you can read it. Well, now I'm having a hard time turning some of these pages. Oh my gosh, there's a little piggy. I should have like marked off like some of them that were my favorite to show you. Except for that, I feel like this whole book is my favorite. <laughs> so really cool. Somebody that might appreciate this, I feel like, is like Nick the Booksmith. Like, look, look at this. Bonds and savings. This must have been like an ad in here to get them published. Glober Furniture, Inc. for plumbing repairs. The Woman's Shop. That's cool. So, yeah, so it's really cool. There's quite a bit more. I mean, this thing is just chocked full of different recipes and little illustrations. Oh, what's this? This is blank, but aged. This is like typed up. Grapefruit jelly. Oh, and there's somebody something on the back. A phone number or something. I don't know. Hopefully that isn't somebody's real number. Sorry if it is, but 
you left it in the book. Cakes and cookies. Oh, Queen of Hearts, she made the tarts. Date tarts. So it's just really cool. There's a little thing. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh, I can't get these. They're so rusted. So cool. Just look at all that handwriting. Just, just so cool, guys. Okay. Anyways, so I found this one. I felt like the person that would like really appreciate this is like Nick the Booksmith. I thought about even sending it to her, but I want to play with it. <laughs> so, oh, that back page is just barely there. Are those different ads? <gasps> They're like different ads to get the publish. That's cool, guys. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's cooler, the ads or the handwritten recipes. That's so cool. There's quite a few of them, actually. Yeah. I didn't even see those when I was looking at it. So, alrighty, then we'll go on to the second one. So I think this one is my favorite because it's like the oldest. Oh my gosh, I got like rust everywhere. <laughs> All right, the world's standard dictionary of self-pronouncing latest official census, I think it says. So super cool. That's what it looks like. And it was two bucks. And these pages, I don't know if you can tell, but they're, like, old. At first I thought it was a Bible, the way this is, but it's actually not. Oh. Well, it's a little dusty. So this says 1918 edition. So this is kind of cool. Right? I don't know if there's a different... This one says copyright of 19... Or 1898. Yeah, 1918. That's the last one. So, so that's cool. And it's got different stuff in it, like a dictionary, you know. But um, I just thought it was really cool. You got dictionary pages, and then they have quite a bit of more illustrations than I thought there would be. I'm just kind of thumbing through it. That's pretty. Some shells, some insects. So I really liked this. And then towards the back, there is like this writing, like this. Oh, and then there's the states. But I thought this was kind of cool. And there was one more, I think, writing a different way. I don't know where it is, but it was like a number catalog or something. So the very back, the contents, this would be cool to alter and put on a page. I don't know. I'm just excited. So, yeah. So I got this for two bucks. So that's two, four, three, <laughs> five, fifty, and then the little, um, wherever my son ran away with it, I gotta get that back from him. Uh, pencil sharpener was two dollars. So what, seven fifty I paid? Something like that for everything. There's a random store. So yeah. So I thought that was super cool and I wanted to share it with you guys, even though you can't go find the same exact things, most likely. But yeah, I just wanted to remind you guys, check your thrift stores, check rummage sales, yard sales, flea markets, and see what you can find. It was super fun and I just went out with like uh, 20 bucks and I only spent $7.50. Yeah. Bye guys.